So there are a bunch of ways to navigate inside of a Ninja Trader chart and we're going to cover the most common things that you have to know. You're probably going to wonder how you traded for so long without knowing them. So stay tuned. This video will probably be targeted more to traders who have never used the keyboard with their charting, but I know some of you seasoned traders might not know some of these tricks. So let's get started and we'll hit off with the first one. So hold down the control key and inside the chart with your left mouse button, hold it down and now move your mouse around. It will actually let you move the chart in sort of a free form style to reposition it where you might want it to be. It could also be helpful if you're looking back at some of the history of the chart and you want to see where price takes a run in a certain direction. You can now follow it without having to rescale your charts. Now, before we get started in the next year, I just want to let you guys also know that we have a couple free tools that you've probably seen on our charts, which is our price line tool, as well as our news event tool that draws news events on your NT platform. So I'm going to put a link below where you can grab both of those two. Anyways, let's continue with the shortcuts. So number two. So hold down the Alt key and I want you to tap your up and down arrows. Okay, when you tap the down arrows and do it multiple times, you will see that your bars will get more fat. Okay, the more you click. Just like if you hit the up arrows, it'll get more skinny. Sometimes when you're rescaling your charts, you might notice that candlesticks are getting too close together or actually too far apart from each other. And making them skinnier or fatter can certainly help visually. So for this trick, I want you to hold down the control button, and not the same as the last one where it was the alt button, but the control button. I want you to hit the up and down arrows. And as you tap those, you're basically going to be zooming in as you hit the down arrow and zooming out as you hit the up arrow. So just give that a try. Uh, it can be really helpful as you're, you're kind of navigating even from changing from free flow to, to maybe wanting to zoom in on a certain part. Uh, you'll probably find that you use a lot of these in combinations with each other, uh, but certainly is helpful. Now, while you are clicking on things and all that stuff, uh, you might want to click on that subscribe button. You can get all these other little videos and tips and tricks as we produce them. Uh, so feel free to click on that and I'm sure you'll find it helpful too. Now for our last one here, holding the shift button and tapping the up and down arrows is not going to rescale the chart. What it's going to do is it's actually going to move the chart up and down. Now this is going to become very handy if you're looking at the chart and you're trying to get price in the middle or if you're, you're focusing on certain trends or working with trends and you want price to be at either the top or bottom of your chart, it's very easy to move the chart around that way. Now once you're done playing with all these keyboard shortcuts, uh, I want you to go ahead and watch this video on the 10 tips of what you should do after you install NT8. Okay, definitely check it out. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want future tips and tricks. And we'll see you guys again shortly.